never had the pleasure of seeing Guy Kawasaki in person, but I did catch one of his videos recently. He did a, I think it may be a part of a series, but he had a talk with um, guys from uh, Cal. Uh, they have a business school there, and he was discussing the 10 mistakes that entrepreneurs make. I should say the 10 mistakes that uh, startups make. So he has some very, very good advice. Um, it was, I think, about an hour and a half, or it was either an, an hour or hour and a half, and he had maybe 40 minutes of, of material to go through and also questions and answers. So the one thing that I really picked up on and I'm going to try to take that away was you should have no more than 10 slides when you're pitching like a, a VC it's like if you have more than 10 slides people aren't going to focus they can only absorb a maximum of so many things and 10 is a good number and I think that's actually true when I sit down and think about it I've been in presentations or I've been in meetings where uh, people are presenting a lot of material and after a while, I'm starting to zone out. Not because it's not interesting. It's just too much information to absorb. So that was really, really insightful. And whenever I'm trying to prepare, I'm going to try to keep things like really, really slim. So another thing that I really, really liked was the idea of rapid prototyping. It's really about getting that, that MVP, that minimum viable product and that's what I love to see it's like when somebody's telling me about their idea that's fantastic I'm like hey when is it gonna be done so I can see it I want to be able to visualize I don't want this vaporware if people are still <laughs> using <laughs> that term I want to be able to look at something and play with it and realize it and realize its potential you can't do that with an idea and as I've gotten I would say more seasoned, don't want to say older, <laughs> I started to realize that it's really about applied knowledge, not this knowledge. Knowledge is nothing now. Like every anybody can get educated about something very, very fast. The ways that people absorb information have changed. We have different channels. Knowledge is out there. You just have to take the time to grab it. The people that succeed are the people that take the knowledge and make something with it or do something. Be a maker. Fix problems. Solve problems. And if you're passionate about a problem and you're really solving a problem for, for a particular group, don't even worry about like getting rich off of it. It's going to naturally, organically happen. If you build a product that has decent marketing or at least get connected with people that can help you build your voice, don't even have to worry about that. You don't even have to worry about, you know, like stressing out about the fact that, you know, I need to make, you know, millions and millions of dollars. It, it, I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen organically. I've been in business for a very long time and I see this happen all the time. So two key takeaways. Try to keep your presentations to 10 slides Try to get to your prototype as soon as possible. I would say watch the video. It was a great, great session from Guy. And also, if you're not following Guy on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, follow him. He's a, he's a very smart guy. He really has a pulse on, on social and you can get a lot of shortcuts out of things that would take you probably weeks if not months to learn on your own.